quid pro quo. How y'all doing? I have a headache. So, it's going to be candlelight only. Um, welcome to the stupid little YouTube channel of science. Tonight, we're going to talk about April Fool's Day. Just briefly, though, I'm just going to say I'm looking forward to April Fool's Day. And I hope Ashton Kutcher is involved. So, people have been getting it wrong on Jeff Sessions, except for uh, John Oliver, it turns out. I mean, over and over again, like, I, I really wonder about just what is the baseline of intelligence for a human being? Or are people just bullshitting? It seems to me more often that the media is... Not normalizing, but covering, like letting the argument be minimalized, not definitive, letting it play out more than they need to. And that's, you know, why we have this fucking cocksucker to begin with. And yeah, I, I fully believe that Donald Trump sucks loads of dick. Um, for fun. Like, I, I, I think she, like, likes people to piss in his mouth. Um, like, cause I, I just don't see how a, a man constantly hold his fucking mouth open like, Oh, uh, yeah, I talk like this. Yeah, yeah. He, he like, uh, the fucking sick fuck, dude. Walking in on teen, <sighs> walking in on teenage girl dressing rooms. fuck's sake. I, I really think um, that that's making me think of what I've been thinking of a lot lately, which is that when you encounter Trump protesters, you need to get down a less stereotypical social justice warrior rhetoric and here's what I mean by that protesting for somebody that's fine you're not often going to get counter protesters but when you're protesting against somebody so like I'm talking about you know protesting on behalf of immigrants to protesting on behalf of Muslims that kind of thing okay you know, stick to the script by all means. But when you're protesting against somebody, think of who you're talking to for fuck's sake. Like, okay, if they want to talk about Islam, don't, don't. Don't get all social justice warrior on them. Tell them it's the wrong strategy. Tell them Donald Trump has no strategy. Try to reach out to them from their perspective, because believe me, Donald Trump makes it easier for you to do it. He's incompetent on both sides, okay, from, from both ends of, of the perspective. Of, of the spectrum, excuse me. And 
And I think a lot of these kids that are out there protesting, while their heart's in the right place, and while they obviously have more time and energy than a lot of people, um, they need to watch less of the Young Turks and more of the interviews with conservatives and generals and national security officials who are, you know, appalled by Trump. Not, not, not just terrified that he's completely dismantled our national security capability. Him and Ted Cruz and all the fucking Republican traitors who have been concertedly not not just the Trump campaign, you don't understand. Concertedly in this big played out show to install this Putinite dictator and to rid us of our best possible leader, Hillary Clinton, over this Benghazi bullshit and all these email bullshits. And if you just knew about like all the deep levels of what was really going on, all of her emails would make perfect fucking sense. Even the shit that Podesta wasn't privy to know. <laughs> and, I, and I bet you a lot of people are wishing that our president right now, oh God, I didn't, I, I, no, I, precedent, precedent, excuse me, uh, just like, vomited inside of my soul and then my heart beat the shit out of me and okay I think all my internal organs now need to be replaced where's my Erie Coot suits you when I need them okay just fucking distracted myself with that disgusting thought in the middle of my sentence and I don't think I've, I don't think I can recover Oh, yeah. I bet you a lot of people right now are wishing that the precedent we have established had more of a public voice than a private voice. Like, you know, use your inside voice, Donald. Fuck's sake. Joy. Oh, my God. AM Joy. I, 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 me and my wife love this woman. She is wonderful. Just occasionally, she has the best, the best little poetic fucking cracks to make. And she just kind of slips them into, like, the intro announcement. I don't know if she writes them or if she's got, like, a really clever writer. Or like, Tina Fey just sometimes ghost writes for reporters nowadays just to make them funnier. But it's like some Tina Fey level shit. Like, just like talking about the speech the other day. Donald Trump used his inside voice. Priceless. You can't see my face. I'm sorry. It's not that fucking much to look at anyway. Um so Jeff Sessions did not only perjure himself. Jeff Sessions did not only lie divulging information the way a guilty criminal would when interrogating. Like, okay. <laughs> not only this, okay, but like, let me just do the analogy. It's as if he was asked, um, what would you do if you saw a bank robbery, robbery in progress? And he said, While I may know a lot of bank robbers, I did not rob that bank. And none of my friends robbed that bank either. All we asked you was, What, what would you do if, if you saw a bank robbery in progress? Huh. That, that's, that's, I mean, he was asked, what, what would you do in the case of the investigation about fucking treason, about quid pro quo regarding whether or not the Donald Trump campaign promised um, 
to betray American interests in exchange for help defeating Hillary Clinton. Okay, that's the quid pro quo. Okay, sanctions? That, that's, that's American interest right there. It's, it's not a matter of fucking opinion whether or not America should have sanctions on Russia. This, oh God, it's fucking bullshit. But, you know, not only that, before I get distracted, I'm going to try to finish my little three-part point there that I had in mind. That I was actually, I just tweeted out a little version of this before I started the video. Um, Jeff Sessions impugned himself in a disqualifying manner regarding his position as Attorney General um, as it relates to a possible treason investigation. Okay, so what I'm saying is he's being interviewed for the job of, of Attorney General and he's basically asked what are you going to do about the, this investigation? And his reply is, well, obviously, I'm not impartial. His reply is, I'm a subject of that investigation, and I'm going to assure you, we're not guilty. Like, Who are these incompetent fools that people pay to speak on, on, on television? And, and, and why, why am I so broke that, that we're declaring bankruptcy? My head hurts. I don't I don't know what else to say. I think maybe if I wasn't broken starving I could probably be of more help, but I guess because I'm of more help I'm broken starving. I don't get it. I'm I'm gonna go before this gets any more depressing. Like it's a fucking phone call or something. I love you. Bye-bye.